move over Jared and Ivanka. There is a new corrupt as hell power couple taking over Washington, DC. And that power couple unfortunately happens to be Senate majority leader, Mitch McConnell and his wife, transportation undersecretary, Elaine Chow. According to a new report by Politico, Elaine Chow, through her position at the Department of Transportation, has actually been steering contracts to some of the wealthy donors in Kentucky that have given money to her husband. Here's the way it worked. According to Politico, you had a man by the name of Todd Enman, who is now actually Elaine Chow's chief of staff, but she had appointed Mr. Enman to be the intermediary between Kentucky, Mitch McConnell, and Elaine Chow. Mr. Inman would find out which projects Mitch McConnell thought were priorities in Kentucky. You know, which areas did he need to shore up votes essentially? Which companies did he need to get money from for his 2020 reelection campaign? That's, that was Inman's job. He would then take that information back to Elaine Chow, who would then steer grants and contracts to these cities or companies in order to benefit her husband's political career. And we're not talking about one contract here, maybe another over there. Oh yeah, it's a little piddly. We're talking about $78 million worth of grants and contracts that Elaine Chow at the Department of Transportation steered toward people and places that Mitch McConnell wanted that money to go to. This is corruption at its peak. This is illegal. Oh, and by the way, it's worth mentioning too, that no other state had an intermediary like Mr. Inman did for Kentucky and Elaine Chow and Mitch McConnell. None of the other 49 states in this country had somebody specifically working on that. Somebody going out there and saying, hey, your infrastructure sucks. Your roads, your bridges, they're awful. What do you need from the Department of Transportation? What do you got for me? Nobody else got that except Elaine Chow's husband's state of Kentucky. Now here's the bottom line of this story. And the corruption is much deeper than that. I don't wanna get into the minutia of the details and some of the companies involved. You can follow the link in the description of this video if you wanna get all of those other details. I boiled it down to the nuts and bolts for you here. But let me boil it down even further. Elaine Chow needs to be impeached and removed from her position immediately. Mitch McConnell should also be facing removal from office and not just in the form of a reelection. This is corruption, folks. This is pay to play. This is essentially bribery on behalf of Mitch McConnell, because do you know what Mitch McConnell would do? He would go out there after his wife, because again, this has been going on for you know two and a half years almost. He'd then go to one of these cities, hold a little rally or a conference with business owners, you know, maybe some citizens in a small city and say, hey, how about that grant I got you? So he would actually go there and brag to them that he is the one who steered that contract towards them. And they would applaud wildly. They would approve of him. They say, hey, wow, Mitch McConnell really cares about his home state of Kentucky. He cares about the little guy here. He cares about taking care of us. He cares about local issues. No, he doesn't. He cares about reelection. And he cheated in order to get those contracts to your city, to your company. The only question at this point is, do the voters of Kentucky actually care? Because I'm willing to bet they don't. I'm willing to bet most of them will never know this story because they don't want to know it. Because the local media there is not going to talk about it. But this is something that every politician in the state of Kentucky that wants to see Mitch McConnell gone, you need to be talking about this every single day. Because if Mitch McConnell is still in office and able to run in 2020, that's going to be a big problem. But there should be enough evidence at this point, because this is not the first story to detail this, folks. We talked about this months ago. It's just getting worse from here. Mitch McConnell needs to be investigated. His wife needs to be investigated, impeached, and removed from her office, and Mitch McConnell also needs to be removed from his. This is the most corrupt power couple in Washington, D.C. today, and let's not forget that's a Washington DC that now includes the power couple of Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. And when you hit a point when you're even more corrupt than those two morons, then yeah, we've got a really big problem in DC. 
Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.